so 138 page number page number 138 linear equations in two variables 138 page 138 and uh, xi 6.3 Sixth problem, you write the question in full. Draw the graph of each of the following equations given or each of the equations given below. Also find the coordinates of the points where the graph cuts the coordinate axis. So 3x plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0. There are three questions. So one I am solving, that's all. Let us stop this type of uh, problems. Because already we did many, many problems, we solved many problems on graph method. So you may be feeling bored. So this is the last problem. See. Same method, how to draw the graph? Prepare the table. This is the equation. Take any x values, find the y values. values find the corresponding y values and taking x is equal to 0 take x is equal to some number the only the technique is if you are getting fractions it will be inconvenient to plot on the graph of course you can plot but try to avoid the fractions so take x is equal to 0, we will get y value right here, take x is equal to some number, substitute here, get y value. So like this, see x is equal to 0, we are substituting and we are getting the y value. So otherwise, first only you can prepare in the form of y is equal to something, then directly you can keep on substituting the x values, that method also you can do. Suppose if I write this y is equal to something, what it becomes? plus 3x right side my, uh, minus 3x plus 6 that side minus 6 plus 3x that side minus 3x plus 6 that side minus 6 so this is 2y remains 2 that side it will be the denominator see same equation can be written as y is equal to something plus 3x that side minus 3x plus 6 that side minus 6 and 2 will be the denominator now, what x value I am taking? 0. If x is equal to 0, what is y? Get it. Get the value. If x is equal to 0, what is y? x is, see same, I can write like this also. Otherwise, in previously we substitute as it is and we got the y value. That also you can do x is equal to 0 minus 3 into 0 minus 6 by 2 x is equal to 0 I am taking 3 into 0 is 0 minus 6 by 2 is minus 3 take x is equal to some number suppose if I take x is equal to 1 1 3 into 1, 3 plus 6, 9, 9 by 2 is 4.5. 4.5 also you can plot, but let us avoid getting fractions. So I am not taking 1. Let us take 2. See, x is equal to 2, what happens? See, what is y? x is equal to 2. Minus 3 into x value 2 minus 6 by 2 x is equal to 2, I am taking 2, x is equal to 2, minus 6, minus 6, minus 12 by 2, minus 6, minus 12 by 2 is 6, next, take x is equal to any other number, uh, if you take uh, 3, 3, 3 is a 9 plus 6, 15 by 2 is 7.5, it will be inconvenient, 7.5 fraction, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, if it is an integer, it will be convenient. So let us not take 3. Take an other number so that it should get a, it should divide completely. So let us take x is equal to say minus 2 for example. Any numbers you can take. y is equal to minus 3 into 
minus 3 into x value, how much I am taking? Minus 2, minus 6 by 2. x is equal to minus 2, minus 6 by 2. Minus into minus plus 3 to the 6, 6 minus 6, 0 by 2 is 0. That's all. 3 point, 2 points are actually sufficient, but 3 points we are taking. Take x is equal to 0, substitute x is equal to 0 and get the y value. Take x is equal to 2, substitute x is equal to 2 and we are getting like this. x is equal to minus 2, so that 6 minus 6, 0 by 2 is 0. Now take the graph paper, in the middle of the graph paper, take, draw the horizontal line, vertical line, in the middle of the graph, draw the horizontal line, name it as x axis, draw the vertical line, name it as y axis. Horizontal line x axis, vertical line y axis and take some values here. 0, oh, that is 0 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Like this. First point is x0, y minus 3. x0, y minus 3. x0, y minus 3. This is the point. x0, y minus 3. Next point. x2 y minus 6 x2 y minus 6 this is another point x minus 2 y6 x minus 2 y sum y0 x minus 2 x minus 2 y0 0, 0 means there only x minus 2. y how much? 0. There only. y suppose 1, you will get the point here. y suppose 2, you will get the point here. y suppose minus 1, we will get the point here. y 0 means there only. Join these points. Use the scale and join all the points. You won't get exactly because they are not using the graph paper. No? So I am drawing on the board and if you are also drawing on the white paper, you will get the points zigzag. You won't get perfect straight line. But it will be a straight line because every first degree equation is the chapter itself is linear equation. Linear means line. So we will get the line. So like this, this is the last problem on this model. So you, you, you substitute, take any x value. It is not that we should take only these values. Why I took the 2 and minus 2? Because to avoid the fractions. Suppose if I take 1, 3 into 1, 3, 3 plus 6, 9, 9 by 2 is, 9 by 2 is 4.5. So in between 4 and 5, suppose this is 4, this is say for example this is 4, this is 5, in between there will be a mark. Like that also you can do, but just I avoided fractions, I took different numbers so that uh, I got only uh, integers, not fractions, like this, over. So same process, same steps you write, first take the equation. You can write like this or directly you can substitute like previously what you used to do. Then write down the table. The points are 
जीरो एक्स वैल्यू जीरो वाई वैल्यू माइनस थ्री एक्स वैल्यू टू वाई वैल्यू माइनस सिक्स एक्स वैल्यू माइनस टू वाई वैल्यू जीरो एक्स वैल्यू माइनस टू वाई वैल्यू जीरो सो देन प्लॉट द पॉइंट प्लॉट द पॉइंट ऑन द ग्राफ Join them. We get required straight line. Same process we are writing for every graph. So after getting the points, plot the points on the graph. Plot the points on the graph. This is one point. This is the second point. This is the third. Plot the points on the graph. Join them. Join them. we get required straight line we get required straight line now there is another question continuation first you complete this and i will explain that uh, second also there is some continuation of this uh, problem the question is Also find the coordinates of the points where the graph cuts the coordinate axis. This is the graph where it is cutting the x-axis. It is cutting the x-axis. This is the x-axis, no? Cutting the x-axis at this point. So the graph line is cutting the x-axis at what point? The line is cutting the x-axis at what point? This point. Can you tell the coordinates here? What is x value? Minus two. On x-axis, y value will be always zero. Remember this important concept. On x values, there will be only x value. X value one, x value two, x value three, x value four, x value minus one, x value minus two. But on x-axis. Y value will be always zero. So that means the graph is cutting the x-axis at minus two comma zero. Next, how where it is cutting the y-axis? That also you have to write. The line is cutting the y-axis here. This is y-axis. See, this is the y-axis. Vertical line is y-axis. This is the y-axis. The Line is cutting the y-axis at uh, this point. What is it? Minus three. Line cutting the y-axis at uh, minus three. So what is x value here? X value on y-axis on y-axis everywhere on y-axis x value is zero. X value is always zero on y-axis. So what is my value? Minus three. One important question is this one. So x value. Where the line is cutting the axis, that is our question. So the line is cutting both the x-axis and also y-axis. Where it is cutting the x-axis here? What is x value? Minus two. Y value zero. It is also cutting the y-axis. Y-axis means x value is zero. Y value is minus three. Okay. So this six point three exercise is completed, students. Once again, those who have joined late, so I want to tell uh, that 138 page number. All of you just look at the exercise. You do it afterwards. 138 page. We completed six problems. All the everything we completed, and the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. The theory questions are deleted for this annual exam because because we started late, no. So this academic year there are a lot of disturbances due to COVID and all. so this exercise is 9 7 8 9 10 problems are deleted okay 7th 8th 9th 10th problems are deleted and exercise 6.4 also same continuation theory problems that is also deleted and they are not all very important also because even if they are important deleted also i will tell any any other chapters if some other chapters also there are some deletions if it is important for your 10th class or higher studies definitely i will teach but which is not important for your higher classes let us delete it so this is deleted now you directly go to the last exercise 6.5 see the textbooks go to the 6.5 exercise
complete this drop everything this is the last problem at least you just draw full write the table and just understand how i prepared this table if you have doubt again you ask me i draw this graph write this description and tell at what point it is meeting the x axis at what point it is meeting the y axis if you have not understood you please ask me Okay, students. One forty-six page. So one more exercise we have to complete before going to the next chapter because some students are feeling bored about the graph. I know because every day graph graph means you may be feeling bored because. If it is a interesting topic in terms of x y a plus b whole square a minus b whole square formula problematic formula uh, using formula so that will be interesting okay next chapter we will start interesting chapter only so this six point five uh, see the first question this is the graph but not like previous graph it is simple graph only simple problems write down the question. First question is x is equal to three. Students, x is equal to three. Simple problems only. All six problems are very simple. Very simple. X is equal to three is the equation. Represent this on the number line and also on Cartesian plane. Number line. We have to represent this on the number line, also Cartesian plane. See, here. number line means you draw the line. What is the meaning of number line? Line. Write the numbers on it. That's all. That is the number line. Line you draw with the scale zero, one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, minus three. This is the number line. Taking a line and on which if we write the numbers, that becomes the number line. What is x value? What value we have to print? Three. So this is three. That's all. X is equal to three. At three, you mark a point. So that is over. X is equal to three. Three you have to mark. Three is marked here on the number line. The P represents required point 
दर्शन दिस इज अंबर लाइन ऑल प्रॉब्लम सेम मॉडल नंबर लाइन मीन्स ओनली ड्रॉ द लाइन इफ इट इज थ्री थ्री इज एट थ्री यू पॉइंट मॉर्क द पॉइंट दट इज द आंसर सपोज इफ इट इज टू एट टू यू मॉर्क द पॉइंट दट इज द आंसर नेक्स्ट कार्टीजियन प्लेन मीन्स अवर एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस दट इज कॉल्ड कार्टीजियन प्लेन Is it over number line? Just three. Number three, three. That's all. Now on Cartesian plane. Y values. I took one, two, three. So, but whatever may be y value, 
this this will not change because zero means zero into any number is zero only. X is equal to three always. X is equal to three. Now three one. First I will explain plotting the points and after that directly how to draw the line also I will explain. First let us plot the points three comma one. See here. X value three, Y value one. Three one. Three two. X value three, Y value two. Three three. X value three, Y value three. Actually, this is the first problem I explained in, in detailed way. But x is equal to three means x is equal to three line. Remember this: x is equal to any number. It will be parallel to y-axis. It will be parallel to y-axis at a distance of three. Just to see the distance three, draw a vertical line. That's all. No need of preparing the table points. Nothing. Just drawing the line. X is equal to three means take x value one, two, three here. Draw the line parallel to y-axis. X is equal to any number will be always parallel to y-axis. Suppose x is equal to one is asked. You will get line like this. X is equal to one. X is equal to two. You will get line like this. No need of preparing the table at all. But just to get more steps. I wrote it as I introduced the y. This is also no need actually. Zero into y I, I introduced because it should be an x and y like that. So I took y values. Any y value, no change. X is always three, 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 three only. So x value three, x value three, x value three, everywhere x value three. So therefore, x is equal to any number will be a line parallel to y axis and at a distance of that units. Three means at three. X is equal to suppose if I ask you to draw you draw a line x is equal to minus two. See now x value minus two. Draw the line vertical line. Same way if it is y is equal to something y is equal to say two. Take y value two. Draw horizontal line in that case. Y is equal to line will be parallel to x axis. X is equal to line will be. X is equal to line will be parallel to y axis. Y is equal to line will be parallel to x axis. Suppose if you are asked to draw y is equal to two, just draw a line. No need of preparing any graph, any table or anything. Just y is equal to two will be from two draw line like this. So this is the procedure. Uh, the points I wrote. Write down. Plot the points on the graph. By joining them, we get required line. We get required line. Plot the points on the graph. By joining them, we get the required line. This is our required line. That's x is equal to three line. Because x problem we solved now, same x problem one more week, let us do. After that y problems. Two x is equal to nine. X is equal to nine by two. Nine by two is four point five. Same way, 
नंबर लाइन फोर्थ बिट टू एक्स माइनस नाइन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस नाइन दैट साइड प्लस नाइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन बाई टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव वेर इज दैट फोर्थ पॉइंट फाइव इट विल बी समेर हियर दिस इज अवर आंसर दिस इज अवर आंसर दिस इज अ नंबर लाइन नंबर लाइन मीन्स ड्रॉ ए लाइन एंड ऑन इट राइट द नंबर इट बिकम्स अ नंबर लाइन so what is which value we have to take 4.5 it will be in between 4 and 5 so this is somewhere approximately p is the required point that's all p is the required point और यू हाइट जीरो वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव आई हॉट जीरो इंटू वाई इज जीरो वन x value 4.5 y value 1 x value 4.5 y value 2 x value 4.5 y value 3 4.5 1 4.5 1 4.5 2 4.5 3 that is the line That's all. So, students, uh, uh, in maybe one or two classes, we can complete this chapter. 